Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's second video, day 10 will take us to the 1st of June. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Extended GFS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll try and look at weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets into the second half of June. And I'll get time back for you in a moment. Just say that first. But as I say, it was UK weather forecast. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everyone for doing that. The gas love it. Thank you so much everyone. About 75 subscribers will get us to 19.8k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Love it. Right, we're going to start off with the latest wind blow map from EarthNoldSchool.net. We've got a trough of low pressure sitting uh, to our north and northeast. Uh, a ridge is through the country and going northwards, really, still. And plenty of low pressure in the Atlantic. The ridge is gradually weakening and breaking, breaking down. And into the weekend, things will turn uh, rather more showery and unsettled. More about that later. Central temperature is currently sitting at 12.6, that's 1.5 degree, above the 61 to 90, 90 average. That is provisional to get to uh, the 20th, nearly said to yesterday, to the 20th a couple of days ago. These are the GFS. <coughs> So sorry, everyone. These are the GFS upper air temperature absorption ensembles for that complete on Glasgow today. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Glasgow. Looking quite wet uh, for uh, Glasgow, starting over the weekend and lasting into uh, next week. Some big precipitation spikes there in the southwest of Scotland. Perhaps a bit of a drying trend later. Temperature wise, doesn't look overly dramatic, starting a little bit on the cool side. Going a bit warmer, made a bit cooler. So that all looks rather zonal. And then hovering quite close to long-term averages. Maybe signs of a warming trend into the first week of June, which of course is something that we've been picking up on in the um in the in the, in the updates uh, recently. But we might get uh, a very warm, possibly even hot start to June. Of course, that's an extended range, therefore um, love. But there might be a bit of a warming and drying trend. <laughs> In evidence there for Glasgow, if we go a bit further southwards to London, well, a long way further southwards, uh, it looks like that. So there, obviously, nowhere near as wet. That's the first thing to get on the table. <laughs> and uh, temperature-wise, well, up and down, so a bit zonal to start off with, but a more pronounced warming trend then as we're going through the first week of June. And again, some really quite hot outlier members, some going above 15 degrees at 858 pH which would uh, get the temperature above 30 Celsius, uh, I would have thought. They're outliers, but a definite warming trend there for uh, London through the first week of, uh, of the June. And as I say, no near as, as unsettled, but some shall, shall we rain come through the rest of May into June. Uh, a bit of a dry and trend. Uh, well, chocolate tidbits seem to be down again today. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Very uh, reliable website normally. Uh, whether something, uh, you, you know, some severe weather going on in America this week, I don't know if it's causing the server to break down um, due, to, due to a number of hits and whatnot. But anyway, haven't got the temperature and precipitation anomalies today. Hopefully, they'll be back tomorrow. So, we'll go straight on to the chart data. And this is how the latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Sunday. Uh, no pressing control. Weather well, system coming across the country brings some outbreaks of rain with it. Then on into Bank on Monday, showery westerly winds. And then beyond that, we find heights building to the south, turning drier and uh, warmer then through the second half next week in the south. But looking a little bit mixed still, though, up in the north. Icon again looks rather showery. As we're going through the bank holiday weekend. Uh, through next week, well, a gradual transition towards some higher pressure to the west and to the southwest as we go through the middle part. We're looking a bit cool and showery there with uh, northwesterly winds. But I reckon if we could go beyond that, which we can't, that gets us to midday next Thursday. If we could go beyond that, we'll find this high pressure building probably quite strongly up from the south. And then the KMA uh, looks like this. Again, rather showery with those uh, westerly winds as we go through the next few days. And then the high pressure builds more strongly, though, as we go towards uh, months. And what happens when we get into June? Well, then low pressure comes in and flattens that off. So 
bit of uncertainty. Will we build a high pressure in the first week of June or will the next low roll in over top? I think we could be heading into quite a critical period for the fate of, the, well, certainly the first half of the summer anyway uh so if we so we're going to turn we're definitely turning more unsettled over the bank holiday and into next week if that lasts then into june then uh we could be in for quite a, a quite a coolish and, and mixed uh sort of first half of the summer i think if we get um another area of high pressure by building in for the first week of june but i reckon she could turn into a dry and hot month so it's going to be very interesting to see i think we are in a, quite a critical period uh now for the first half of summer anyway so uh, this our GFS midnight run is uh, looking. So uh, let's go through that one uh, very quickly. And again, we can see the low pressure is in control through the uh, bank holiday weekend. Heading on into uh, next week. Well, the uh, midnight run is building up high pressure quite strongly by the end of next week. So turning drier and warmer by uh, the last day of the month, I guess it's Saturday the 31st of May. And then a strong anti-cyclonic influence in the extended through the first week of June, check that out, and it's bringing in uh, a very warm, even probably quite hot, southerly, southeasterly flow as well. This was a bit uh, thundery, I had to say. That's a thundery low that's around France and Biscay, trying to push northwards. So a hot, possibly thundery there through the first week of June with the uh, GFS uh, midnight run. Quite interesting. The GFS 6 said, by comparison, again, it's looking rather showery and a little bit mixed as uh, we're going uh, through next week. High pressure then building quite strongly as we get into the uh, opening days of June. And then, again, the 6 said, very sh uh, strong with high pressure through that first week of June. Looking very warm as well. The air is coming up from the uh, south. So uh, both the GFS operationals uh, having a lot of high pressure through the first week of June today. Mostly dry and very warm in complete contrast to what the KMA, for example, was showing. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to press back down to this and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. 75 subscribers get 19 Point eight k could get sub that be awesome and if you could afford to give a little donation guys love this that'd be amazing as well it's our paypal page go to our paypal page find the link in the description of the video sign into your paypal account and uh, donate what you'd like we'll do a shout out in the bid thank you so much everyone for doing that for us thank you so much everyone gm again looking rather unsettled on sunday and on into Monday as well. Cool showery conditions through the early part of next week. Then the high pressure trying to build up from the south later uh, next week. So we end up by the 1st of June, day 10, with a ridge building here through the west of Europe. A thundery low over France. Could be threatening some humidity and uh, some uh, thunder into the south. By the G uh, going in an anti-cyclonic direction by the start of June. And then the East Share browns it all off again, looking rather showery and a little bit cool through the bank holiday, or cooler anyway, through bank holiday weekend. Uh, through next week, high pressure gradually tries to build up for myself around day 9 and 10. But the Eshem run actually pushes that away quite quickly. So um, Eshem more unsettled through the first week of June today. So it really is a mixed bag, isn't it, this first week of June, causing all sorts of problems. And I think I think it's a critical period, this. So it's going to be really fascinating and intriguing to see how it works out. This is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, East End Run from Stretch.com. Got some wet weather coming in from the Atlantic, even in the parts south and southeast. There's going to be some rain there uh, as we go through the bank holiday uh, weekend. And um, by the showers to come through to Bank Holiday Monday. Then on into next week, another batch of wet weather uh, pushes across the south. That's, uh, that's next Tuesday. Um, I think further wet weather punching through during the middle of the week. So some useful rain to come here, even for more southern areas. A lot of it's in the north and west, but some rain into the south. That's day 10 when it looks drier, but then more wet weather comes in after that. This is uh, the option of the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the first day of June. 51 out of 50 members of the ECM Ensemble, all of them, with plenty of low pressure to the north, higher pressure 
bit of a south of winds are coming in from that flat westerly direction. Looks a little bit Atlantic driven. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 6th of June. 18 members of the ECM ensembles, including the control and the operation of bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So that's going to be quite unsettled. Uh, another 18 with a stronger area of high pressure to the south, lower pressure to the north, jet streams up here. That should bring quite a lot of dry weather into southern regions anyway. And 15 with high pressure right over top of the country. So it really is, um, you know, it really is on an knife edge, that, isn't it? We've got 18 that are completely unsettled. We've got 15 that are very settled and, and so on. And then we've got another 18 that are somewhere in the middle this first week of june gonna be really interesting to see how uh, the models work it out over the next few days of course we'll keep you posted at gals weather vids uh, so finally, CFSB2 beats the 500 millibar high zone. It's breaking down to week period. So first week period takes from the 27th, 28th of May. But next week, we have a low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west. And we bring a wind flow of a jet stream in like that week two. It's going to be the 29th of May to the 4th of June. High pressure uh, over to the east country, Ridgey North, was low pressure out to the west. Winds come up from a southerly direction. That should be mostly dry and potentially warm or very warm as well, possibly even hot. Week 3 will be the 5th to the 11th of June. High pressure through there, low pressure out there. Again, that draws up the wind from that southerly direction. That should be mostly dry, very warm, could be quite hot. Finally, week 4 is the 12th to the 18th of June with low pressure to the north, high pressure south and winds coming in from the west main. So that's a little bit more changeable, I think, uh, with a westerly flow. Four weeks away, though, so a long way out. And as we already have established with shorter range, this period here, 29th of May, 4th of June, I mean, the CFS is towards high pressure and very warm, possibly quite hot weather, but like the, the, the shorter range models, very uncertain, so not, not really much point looking beyond that, to be honest. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gas Weathers. And yeah, please subscribe too. Thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that. Okay, so tomorrow we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We'll have what else we've got coming up. Jamie Friday and 10 to 14 day uh, tomorrow as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And um, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.